Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make keychains using the Sizzix. Here I have my Sizzix die for keychains. My extender pads that I've gotten off of Amazon. And I've already brought some faux leather, some apples for back to school. You see there's HTV on the back here. And you could even do glitter if you wanted to make it more cuter. Just heat that in your heat press for a little bit. And it gives it a more finished look. Now I'm going to cut this to fit my die. I'm going to put my extender boards on and now I'm going to run it through the scissors. Once you get it started, it's pretty easy. Take off the excess. Look at these strips. Just need to clip off a little bit there and they'd be ready to go. Now all we have to do is add the hardware. So what I recommend doing is just add this little bit of hot glue here and then glue them even like this. I got my hot glue on there. It makes it easier to add on the hardware. Well, I got most of these materials from Amazon. I put this in the very bottom of the clamp so I can keep it even. And then try to center it in your clamp, make sure it's in there. Slowly clamp it shut, once you think she got it pretty even. And then and clamp it all the way down. it one more time just to make sure it's really in there. Uh -huh. Yep, that will not be coming loose. Oh, and now you have a key fob or a key chain ready. The only thing left to do is pick out a pretty tassel. Red looks like a good color for this one. Oh, there it's ready. I took this nice finish HDV to give it a little bit smoother texture. They used to make these on Cricut, but every time the Cricut machine would move and then it would mess up the whole sheet. And then you not only add your faux leather, but also your HTV. But this is so much easier. 
and I got four more pieces to go. 